I'm using some SI5351 clock modules in my homebrew transceivers and I've noticed that after switch on there's a small shift in frequency accuracy. So I'm just going to do some tests on the module using a frequency counter and a GPS as a reference source. So here I have an NE06 uh, GPS module which is uh, picking up some satellite signals. At the moment it's not near the window so the LED I've had configured so that it flashes if there's no signal. I'm going to feed the output of the of this uh, GPS which I've programmed for 10 megahertz into my frequency counter and just check my counter first. So uh, here's the counter it's um, it'll come up at 10 megs it's showing 12 hertz between 10, 11 and 12 hertz off. The uh, GPS uh, cycles between uh, 10 meg on and 10 meg off so you'll see it pulse on and off there you go. Now this frequency counter will take about 15 minutes before it uh, gets close to 10 megs. When it gets close to 10 megs I have it adjusted so that it gets within a couple of hertz. The frequency counter came with some a rather poor ceramic trimmer for adjusting its crystal. I've replaced that trimmer with some of these uh, milled air variable trimmers. Much better quality and much more stable than the little ceramic trimmer and just um, looked at checked at the other capacitors around the oscillator and replaced what were uh, what I thought were fairly poor ceramics with uh, better quality mica and uh, a few things like that. And so after the counter has warmed up and got close to 10 megs I'll, I'll come back and I'll continue the uh, demonstration. Uh, so here we are we've uh, waited about 15 minutes and we'll now wait for a 10 meg signal from the GPS. There we are, we're 3 hertz lower than 10 megs. So the frequency count has drifted from around 10, maybe 11 hertz high, down to 3 hertz low. So around a 15, around about a 15 cycle drift at 10 megs due to the um, uh, frequency counter heating up inside. It generally stays there for about probably 24 hours. I've had it running all night and day and once it gets down within a few hertz of 10 megs it's, uh, it stays there. So that we now know the frequency counter can be 3 hertz low I can now turn on this signal generator which uses an SI5351 clock module just mounted inside nothing special and as soon as I turn it on you'll see uh, how far off it is. I have it set it so that it should be putting out 10 megs. It's actually showing 54 hertz high. Now it will slowly drift down and eventually we'll get down to 10 megs. Um, as you can see it's already uh, dropped uh, quite a bit. 40, uh, down to 40, 43 hertz high plus the other three, 46. And so we'll come back in about a few minutes and we'll see how far it's gone. Uh, here we are one minute, exactly one minute later. We're now down to 29 Hertz above 10 megs plus the three below for the counter error. So we're about 30, it's now shifted almost 30 Hertz in one minute. So um, I'll count a bit more time. Uh, so another minute has passed. We're now 21 Hertz above 10 megs plus the three is 24 Hertz. So that's now 24 hertz high. I must say I calibrated the SI5351 using the software calibration tool and I did it after it all warmed up and the counter was spot on 10 megs so um, I, I know the uh, software is telling it to go to 10 megs but what's actually happening here is the crystal on the little module is not um, uh, it suffers temperature effects or warm-up effects so we're, while I was talking we've, uh, we've passed 2 minutes and 40 seconds and it's now 2 minutes and 45 seconds. I'll just come back in a, in a moment, I'll turn that off. Uh, this is uh, 4 minutes from turn on. It's now 16 hertz above 10. It's uh, now drifting quite slowly towards 10 megs. There was a bit of a rush for the first minute. Now it's slowed right down. We're still 16, 19 hertz high. Uh, this is at 5 minutes. I'm using this little Sony 24 hour 
12-24 hour little clock which has um, countries around the, the rim that you can set up for finding the time in different countries quite a handy little watch so I'm just watching that I'll come back after a few more minutes I think it's going to go quite slowly now uh, here's a view of the signal generator I've got showing the 10 megs. This uh, is the output level. It's flicking in because the frequency counter is interfering. Uh, the AD8307 level detector is right on the output connector and it's picking up pulses from the counter. I think if I pull the lead out you'll see it stop. I've just pulled the lead out from the, um, the actual counter, it's from the actual signal generator. So um, we put that back and we'll start to flicker. It's just the logic circuit circuits causing the uh, the display to um, flicker up and down. As you can see there. Could probably do with a buffer or something. So back to the frequency counter. Uh, a couple more minutes have passed. We're now probably looking at seven minutes since we turned on. Still 12 hertz high. Uh, this is where we're at. Ten minutes from switch on. Eight. Above ten. Minus three. Eleven hertz. So it's eleven cycles out now. This is ten minutes after switch on. Well, here we are. Uh, we're now 30 minutes, roughly 30 minutes from the start. And we're now 5 hertz, between 4 and f 4 and 5 hertz high. Um, almost spot on, actually. What I should do now is just check the counter against the GPS and see if it's moved much. So uh, there's the um, GPS output. It's showing exactly 10.0000. Or one hertz in that case low. That's just the last count. So we know the frequency counter is very close to 10 megs. And here is the signal generator plugged in, and it's pretty close to 10 megs or so. We're talking one or two hertz now. So this has taken. Uh, let's have a look. Half an hour. 35 minutes. 40 minutes after 40 minutes it's very close it may drift a little bit more but uh, I found that um, once it gets that close which is where I set the software after about an hour or even longer I think it was um, it stays there for quite a long time unless of course you you move it or change the temperature of the room or do something else uh, but where it's just sitting there just sitting uh, quietly it's now reached, after 45 minutes, it's now reached um, 10 megs, and the GPS shows 10 megs as well. So if you have a rig using one of these clock modules and you haven't done anything special about keeping the temperature stable, you'll find that when you first turn it on, you could be up to 50 hertz out. Uh, that's at 10 megs, of course, and it'll be a different amount. At, and on 40 meters, it'll be less, and it'll be more on 20 meters and so on, whatever the, whatever the, the ratio turns out to be. So... Um, after about 15 minutes it's not too bad but after about 40 minutes you know whatever your dial reading should be pretty close to what is actually happening uh, what is actually coming out of the uh, SI5351 